Hello and welcome to another episode about space. In this episode, we will be staying within the limits of our own solar system. And today we are going to be taking a look at Io, one of Jupiter's 67 moons. We will discover why Io holds some amazing records amongst the other astronomical bodies of our solar system, and what are the facts that make this natural satellite so unique. In Greek mythology, Io was a priestess of Ura, in the city of Argos. And as it was very common, she was seduced and became one of the many mortal lovers of Zeus, whom the Romans used to refer to as Jupiter. On January the 8th, 1642, one of the greatest polymaths and astronomers Galileo dies. Coincidentally, on the same day 32 years prior to his death, he discovered the four largest moons of Jupiter, one of which was named Io. In essence, his discovery was a crucial contribution to astronomy. Not only had he discovered the first new astronomical bodies since ancient times, but also his discovery clashed with the common belief that the heavens revolved around the Earth alone. Io is very interesting from an astronomical perspective. Io has the least amount of water of any known astronomical object in the solar system. It is the innermost, fourth largest and has the highest density of all Jupiter's moons. Aside from Earth, Io is the only known body in the solar system to have observed active volcanoes, and with over 400 active ones, this moon is the most volcanically active object in our solar system. Io's most powerful volcanic eruptions can climb up to 500 kilometers above its surface, covering it with colorful debris. Its volcanic plumes and lava flows produce large surface changes and paint the surface mainly in subtle shades of yellow, red and green. This extreme geologic activity is the result of tidal heating caused from friction generated within Io's interior, as it is pulled between Jupiter and the other Galilean satellites Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. Because of the volcanic activity, Io's atmosphere contains mostly sulfur dioxide, and as Jupiter rotates, the magnetic forces strip away about a ton of Io's material every second. The material then becomes ionized and forms a donut-shaped cloud of radiation called the plasma torus. Some of the ions are pulled into Jupiter's upper atmosphere creating auroras and lightning. Io's orbit cuts across Jupiter's powerful magnetic lines of force, turning Io into an electric generator that can develop 400,000 volts across itself and create an electric current of 3 million amperes. Io's atmosphere is in a constant state of collapse and repair. Several observations and the use of heat radiation have confirmed a large amount of fluctuations taking place on this moon's atmosphere. Those atmospheric changes are a result of the daily eclipses that are taking place as Jupiter casts its shadow over the moon's surface. Observations have shown that Io's atmosphere begins to deflate when the temperature drops from minus 148 degrees Celsius in sunlight to minus 167 degrees during eclipse. During a full eclipse, whilst Io's exposure to sunlight is obscured by Jupiter, the Moon's atmosphere effectively collapses, as most of the sulfur dioxide gas settles as frost on its surface. Once the Moon returns to full sunlight, the atmosphere redevelops as the surface warms again. Unlike most satellites in the outer solar system, which are mostly composed of water ice, Io is primarily composed of silicate rocks surrounding a molten iron or iron sulfide core. Whilst most of the surface is composed of extensive plains coated with sulfur and sulfur dioxide frost, there are not a lot of impact craters on Io, probably as a result of the constant lava flows, which may be filling up most of the damaged surface. Io is slightly larger than Earth's moon and sits about the same distance from Jupiter roughly about 422,000 kilometers as our own moon does from Earth. Although in comparison to Jupiter, Io is somewhat small and like our moon, Io is also tidally locked, which means that the same side always faces Jupiter. Io takes roughly 1.8 Earth days or about 42 and a half hours to complete an orbit around Jupiter, which is fast enough for its motion to be observed over a single night of observation. However, it gets more interesting. Io is in a 2 to 1 mean motion orbital resonance with Europa, and a 4 to 1 mean motion orbital resonance with Ganymede. What this means is that Io completes two orbits of Jupiter for every one orbit completed by Europa, 
and four orbits for every one completed by Ganymede. This orbital resonance means that all three moons exert a regular and periodic gravitational influence on each other, and therefore, the gravitational pull from Europa and Ganymede disturbs Io's orbit, making it incredibly elliptical. As a result, Io's distance whilst it orbits Jupiter also varies, which causes the entire moon to flux from intense tidal forces and even changes its shape by 100 meters at the equator. This resonance sustains Io's orbital eccentricity, which in turn provides the primary heating source for its geologic activity. Without this forced eccentricity, Io's orbit would circularize through tidal dissipation, leading to a geologically less active world. The surface of Io is dotted with more than 100 mountains, a direct result of the compression at the base of its crust, that uplifted the surface. These mountains have an average height of 6 km and a large average length of 157 km long. However, South Bosal, Io's highest mountain is one of the tallest mountains in the solar system. With its peak reaching a stunning 17.5 km is almost twice as high as Mount Everest. So, for all those reasons, from eccentric orbital habits to volcanic activity, to a constant state of surface renovation, Jupiter's moon Io, is one of the wonders of our solar system. Well, that concludes our journey to the universe for today. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up, feel free to share it with your friends, and please subscribe to the channel. And of course, let me hear your suggestions for our next journey in space in the comments below. Goodbye.